again. Got the app. Got the T-shirt. Got the lights. Beard's not there yet. Not got long to get it long so I can go out and go down people's chimneys. But anyway, we're doing a sauce today. I saw it and I thought, oh, that looks different. We'll have to get that and try it. And then why not review it? Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Festive Tomato Ketchup with Winter Berries. And it says, a delicious fruity ketchup made with blackberries, cranberries and red currants to give it a subtle fruity twist. Our festive tomato ketchup is a great addition to your leftover cheese toasty. Who has leftover cheese toasties? You mosh it all. Or why not use as a dip for your festive platter? And why not? Well, one reason why not is it might not be very nice. So we better get in and we better see. What a strange smell. It doesn't smell of any of the berries that are in it, but it doesn't smell like tomato ketchup either. I know it said tomato puree then. It doesn't smell like tomato ketchup either. I would say smell wise, it's like a, you know, if you get really cheap tomato ketchup, it's got that funny twangy smell to it. That's what that smells like. And I think it's the berries that are adding that sourness to the smell. That is a really strange smell. Right. Oh, I thought I'd get the spoon in, but I can't. That is thick. It's not coming out. There we go. Right. I don't know if you'll see that. That's what it looks like. I've got to do it without it tipping up. Oh, just got it back before it fell off the spoon. So let's see. Strange. It's like a real thick tomato ketchup and a good quality one with the thickness of it. There is little tiny pips in it from the blackberries, which might put some people off because they want it smooth. Other than that, there's no faults with it. Consistency wise, it's thick. Oh, it is vegan friendly as well, by the way. Now, taste wise, I like my tomato sauce. I'm not one for brown. I always put tomato sauce on bacon butties and everything. Very rarely I use brown. But I'm not sure if I class this as a tomato ketchup because it's not, I know it's not a word, but it's not tomato-y enough. The fruit in there, I can't actually taste blackberries, cranberries and red currants. What they're doing is they're adding a sweetness. Now we do a Christmas curry spice pack and people are put off when I say it's got dried cranberries in it. Obviously they soak up the gravy or the sauce, whatever you want to call it. So they go nice and soft. But they don't actually add any flavour to the dish. It adds a sweetness. And that's what's happened with these. The cranberries, the red currants, the blackberries have not added a fruity flavour as such. They've made it sweeter. There is, you can get the aftertaste of a slight fruit coming through. But it's not really strong. So don't be put off if you're thinking it's going to taste like a fruit sauce and not a ketchup. It's what it says. It's a cross between the two. You're getting a fruitiness on the aftertaste, on the intake, it's a ketchup, but it's not a really tomato flavoured ketchup. It's a strange one to describe. If you like something new, I would say try it because you need to make your own mind up. It's not as red as it looks on here. It's the, the ring lights that are making it look a lot brighter. It's actually a dull red, a dark red colour. It's sweet from the fruit and there is sugar in it as well, I believe. Yeah, second ingredient, sugar. So you've got the sugar, you've got the fruits, which are adding sweetness. So it is a lot sweeter than a standard tomato ketchup if you get a decent one, not a cheap one, because cheap ones have got shed loads of sugar in it. But the fruit is there, but it's on the aftertaste. It's not strong in it. So like I say, don't be put off thinking it's going to be too fruity. It's just going to be a slight aftertaste. But would I buy it again? No. And what's my rating? It's an unsure. It's not a down because it's not bad. I'm not saying oh, it tastes bad and it's not an up because I'm not saying that's nice. It's what it says on the label, which should mean it gets a thumbs up because it's a festive tomato ketchup and you have got that fruitiness coming through. So, you know, it, to confuse you, it gets a thumbs up because it's what it describes. But my actual rating would be a, an unsure because I don't know if I like it. 
I don't know. It's a bit... It's too sweet for me. If you like sweet, really sweet sauces, then it would be good for dipping. Maybe good for dipping hot chicken nuggets and wings in, where it's really spicy. You want something to counteract it, it'd be good for that. And yes, it would be good not dunking the cheese toast in, but actually putting a bit on top of the cheese before you put it in and melt it. And then you'll get a nice sweetness coming through with the cheese. But I'm just not sure if I like it. Um, not because it's bad, but if, I'm not sure if the taste for me. That's all I can say. It gets it gets an unsure because to my taste, I'm not sure if I like it. If you like the sound of that fruit and the ketchup, then get it because it is a good quality. It's real good, good, good thick sauce. Take the pickings out of that. It's what it says. It's a festive tomato sauce. You're getting the fruit on the aftertaste. You're getting the tomato when you first start eating it, drinking it, whatever you're doing with it. What more can I say? It's an unsure from me purely because I don't know if I like the taste. But as regarding what it's saying, it's a thumbs up because it is exactly as it's described. And it is a good quality thick tomato ketchup. So go try it. It's not expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I know it weren't expensive because, again, I wouldn't have bought it if it was. We're done on that. If you fancy getting it, let us know. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. As always, subscribe if you're not. Drop your comments in below. Are you going to try it? Have you tried it? Let us know your thoughts. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.